Police reported looting in numerous cities, including Tampa, Seattle, and Grand Rapids, Michigan, Saturday evening amid protests over the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. In Tampa, a crowd stormed an area CBS while others broke into an AT&T store, according to a local Fox affiliate. We are aware of the protests underway in Tampa, Temple Terrace and portions of unincorporated Hillsborough County. We support everyone's right to assemble, and we will be on the streets as long as needed in order to keep the demonstrators and those around them safe, Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister said in a statement. We are simply asking that everyone express themselves peacefully and with respect to fellow citizens and property. In Grand Rapids, several people smashed windows around 8 p.m. after police assembled in riot gear at a police station, later moving to another area and smashing the windows of the building that housed the Kent County Prosecutor's Office, according to M Live. Looting reportedly occurred at several buildings in the area. In Seattle, Police Chief Carmen Best said the police arrested 27 people Saturday on charges including assault, arson, destruction and looting. Protesters reportedly entered retailers including Starbucks, Nordstrom and Old Navy stores, according to a local CBS affiliate. Mayor Jenny Durkin, D, declared a civil emergency around 6 p.m. Saturday night, banning the use of weapons throughout the city including improvised weapons such as pipes and rocks. Police set off flash bangs after a crowd refused to disperse, with several police department cars later burned, spray-painted and otherwise damaged and two R-15 rifles stolen from police cars before being recovered. Floyd, a black man, died after a police officer pinned him face down for several minutes despite Floyd's protests that he was unable to breathe. The officer, Derek Chauvin, has been charged with third-degree murder and manslaughter. He and three other officers were fired. 